Today we're going to discuss how to create a brochure using Microsoft Publisher. Your goal here is to create a six panel, three panels on each side, publisher brochure. Um, the brochure should be used to inform someone about a topic. In this case, the one you see here, uh, the sport of basketball was chosen as a topic and each of the panels that you see throughout this brochure deal with the sport of basketball. Over here on the right side, you have the popular sport of basketball as the title and it's basically just a very nice bold picture, nice bold title and information on the creator of it. Uh, the back panel is it about the author and it's all about you you'll be writing as if it's um, you're someone else you'll be writing in the third person and you'll include a picture of yourself and there'll also be a works cited or bibliography area on the bottom where you'll credit all of the sources you used for information if you look over on this side panel we've got um, information on the things you need to play basketball and notice the very nice background design that this student chose to um, put behind his vocabulary words. On page two with the other three panels he has three more informational panels and these will be the inside of the brochure. He's got a history panel, a panel that covers the height of a basketball player, how to play, some skills you might need, about the ball itself, and um, a little portion about a famous player, LeBron James. Notice on this um, brochure you have very, very bold um, titles. They stand out. He made them stand out by using um, nice bold font and he also played around with the design of them where some of them are vertical like height and some of them are horizontal like history. He's got some nice colors behind him that make them pop. Remember you're to keep all those things in mind that we discussed in class about design not being too distracting um, about keeping your light on dark and dark on light and also wanting to keep your font the same throughout your brochure here if you choose to use Times New Roman up here then you should be using Times New Roman over here if your title is Times New Roman your other titles should be Times New Roman if your colors on this side of the brochure are black and orange, if you click on the other side of the brochure, it should look consistent with the inside and also have a lot of black and orange theme to it. So with that being said, let's take a look at how you would get started. You would first go in Publisher and you can go to File, New, and when you get to this screen, you're going to see a bunch of templates. Templates are already created for you um, so that it makes it easier. They're already designed just a little bit with um, a basic design to give you the dimensions and the measurements that you might need. So you can click on the part that says brochures and it will take you to a bunch of brochures that say installed templates. Now these are informational as well as it says price list as well as more informational ones and it goes all the way down to uh, ones that you would use for an event or a fundraiser. Now it doesn't matter what the title is, fundraiser, event, price list, it matters whether or not you like the design, you like the look of it, you really can change anything you see on any of these. So you're just going to pick a basic one that you think you might want to start with. You're always welcome to start with a blank one, but I usually tell my students to start with one that is pre-made. So I'm just going to pick the first one. I'm going to hit create and it's going to open up into again those two pages you see over here on the left and you'll see the very first page um, right on your screen and that's the one with the title the back and the one information panel page two consists of the three information panels again you'll notice you have to do a lot of work as this is a very very basic template I want you to take note of the blue lines that are located in the middle of your brochure. Those are guidelines. They do not print, but they are there to help you so that you know where you are going to be folding the brochure and that you don't put anything there. You wouldn't want to stick a title within there because that word heading is going to be folded and eventually those letters are going to wear away. So we usually never see words or photographs inside that fold. It's okay to put a maybe a design, a line there, a shape, as long as there's not too much detail in it. 
you, if you need to, you can zoom in using this bottom um, zoom button so you can get in a little bit closer. And you're going to start clicking on the areas that you want to change. For instance, let's start on page one. And if I'm going to work with my title page, I'm going to take out anything that I don't like. For instance, business tagline or motto, it does not go along with my current project. So I'm going to delete that text box or put something that I want to put in there. Um, and it can be anything you want. If you're not sure, leave it blank. You can always come back to it later. Um, product and service information, I'm not selling anything. However, I might be sharing something um, on my informational brochure, so I would like to give it a title. And for instance, if I chose to do mine on volleyball, I would give it a name like uh, All About Volleyball, oops, or The Ins and Outs of Volleyball, The ABCs of Volleyball, something a little more creative than just volleyball, although volleyball would be fine. I'm going to make it a little bigger so it stands out. I can go bigger later, but I know that I have that room, so I might as well use it. I don't want a lot of white space. There's a picture here, but it doesn't really go along with my topic, so I'm probably going to want to look for a picture uh, has to, having to do with volleyball. I'm also going to want to change anything that says Microsoft or telephone or organization. I'm going to go through and take out all the things I don't want and add the things that I do want. When I'm done, I'm going to give it a really good look, maybe print it to laser printer so I can um, go through it and look it over without being on a screen and decide if I want to make any changes on it. And that is the basics of how to create your brochure in Microsoft Publisher.